in this section of this video, we are going to talk about how to use chat feature in Microsoft Teams. So how you can create group, how you can add multiple applications within the chat group so you can better collaborate, you can better communicate with your team member, with your department, with your organization. So let me show my screen. So look at my screen. I already logged in Microsoft365.com. So here you need to log in using your Microsoft account. Click on App Launcher and here you can see Microsoft Teams. Click on Teams. It will take you on a next next tab, and there you can see Teams.Microsoft.com, and this is the URL for Microsoft Teams. So here you can see we have multiple options, and we already talked about activities. So now we are going to talk about chat. So let me click on chat, and here you can see we have multiple chats listed here. So the chats in which I am part of, you can like if you are using your teams.microsoft.com, you will see all those groups in which you are part of. So those are the chats in which I am part of, I can see here. And also you can see here we have a pinned and I have two chats here and after that you can see recent and I have other groups here. So what does it mean to have pinned chat? Like when you are part of multiple groups and like you have more than 20, 30 groups and you are not regular, regularly chatting in those groups. So what is happening is you are not able to see that what are the important chat groups are and where are those important chat groups where you want to communicate. In that case, what you will do is if you think that this is my very important client chat, you will go here and click on pin. So you can see on top. It means that whatever chat you want to have on top always so you can easily check those chat groups, you can pin it. So that's why I pinned three groups and I can see three groups in pinned item. If you want that, no, this project is completed. I want to uh, remove from top. So you will go here and unpin. So this is how you can keep your important chats on top so you can check regularly and also unpin it when not, re when not required. So here you can see we have some more options just like mark as read so you can mark as read so you can see uh, this message is look like mark as you need to read this message again again you can go mark as unread so this is this is what you can see it's like unread then you can unread so it look like so sometimes like you already read message but you want that Whenever you come next time, you can see that this is what you have to read again. And then you can make it mark as read and respectively, if you want to, you don't want to read that, you can mark as unread. So this is how you can change your group style from bold to uh, read unread. Like it will notify you that you want to read this message or you don't want to read that message based on that you can use this setting. Here we have unmute. So you don't want any kind of notification for that particular group because sometimes some groups are very active and you are not part of that group and, and you don't want notification for those group. In that case, you will select that group and make it unmute. And again, you can make it mute. So based on your requirement, you can mute, unmute. So you will get notification and if you will mute you will not get any kind of notification from that particular group so that's the option after that and then we can see hide if you have multiple groups and you don't want to list here that is making you confused you can just hide that group so let me hide a group i'm going here and hiding it so you can see i am i'm not able to see this group after that we can see uh, manage app so like we created groups here, but you want that some apps should be part of this communication group. In that case, you will go here and add 
multiple applications which are available here sometimes we need excel sheet for that particular group like that that group is related to accounting so group will add excel and manage their data over there if they, that group is related to document documentation of anything the group will add word file over there one note if group is related to uh, meeting and management level they will have one note and record everything in one note related to that particular project or communication here we have powerpoint if that group is related to the social media they will use powerpoint to create powerpoints so this is how you can add applications which is required for that particular group so for example and i have this group i already added one note so you can see one note is here i can start a note after that i added whiteboard so you can see a whiteboard is here and i also added q and a so based on your requirement you can add multiple applications and these this makes this group quite collaborative quite interactive so people will not only chat with each other also use some custom applications to make their communication effective to make them productive then we can see here we have after manage app uh, let me close it we have here create new chat so you can easily click on create new chat and find the person you want to create a new group like you can select you can search so you will have all those members who are available in your communication group you can see here so this is how you can create a new group so let me create So this group is created you can see so now we can chat and also add some discard let me create a proper group here Hi. so now you can see this group is active now i can go and add multiple applications here so these are the features available in microsoft teams as a chat sometimes we need to communicate with the person who is not part of our organization in that case what you have to do is you need to request your team admin to add guest user like you can see i already added my private email address as a guest user so you can see uh, in front of my guest user you can see guest i also added some other user like Bala, so you can see guest here. So the members who are not part of your organization, who are freelancer, or to whom you want to communicate, sometimes you might have to communicate with your client, you can add them as a guest user. And you can see guest, uh, guest word in front of their name. So this is how you can realize that this person is outside your organization but still you can chat you can add multiple applications here and this is how you can manage uh, chat with freelancers the person who is not part of your organization so these are the features which is available in microsoft teams and this is why it's more powerful because it's not just about the communication it's also about the collaboration so you can document things you can uh, take actions you can create multiple app applications where you can your team can communicate and also take actions collaborate on projects departments and organizations